Lumbar Interbody Fusion is a well-described procedure in spine surgery. Thanks to ongoing technical developments and research, this procedure can also be performed in a minimally invasive setting. The full endoscopic techniques bring clear benefits to the patient and are becoming the standard in spine surgery worldwide. As a result, lumbar interbody fusion can now also be performed completely full endoscopically. First, a standardized full endoscopic interlaminar approach with the vertebra stenosis set is performed by introducing a dilator and working sleeve. With the endoscope, the individual surgical steps can be performed very precisely and minimally invasively under vision control. After the approach, the lateral border of the lamina is resected by various drills. The ligamentum flavum must also be removed to access the spinal canal. With the specialized working sleeve the surgeon can protect all neural structures while preparing the disc space. A variety of specific instruments are required for the removal of disc material and the precise and clear preparation of the disc space. For example a nucleus resector is used for efficient and fast disc removal. Osteotome and curved raspatorium will help to remove the main disc tissue. Then a nucleus resector can be used to clean the disc space from the rest of disc tissue. Rasps should be used to prepare the end plates before the cage placement. For the end plate preparation, the endoscopic visual control makes a specific difference to conventional techniques. After the disc space preparation, the visual control via the endoscope gives the surgeon a complete and clear picture of the operating field. Now the surgeons can make sure that the full preparation for placing the implant is sufficient. To insert the implant into the disc space, surgeons have the option of expanding the access space with a slightly larger working sleeve that protects all neural structures and allows for the insertion of the expandable fusion cage. Highly important! The height restoration and mobilization of the disc space must be performed before the cage insertion. The cage will support the prepared disc height after expansion, but it is not performing the distraction itself. The selected expandable cage can now be placed in the disc space. The correct position is approved by X-ray control. After placing the cage, the surgeon can now expand the cage to fill the disc height and create stable support. For final inspection, the endoscope can be inserted again to check the position of the cage. Full endoscopic interbody fusion with vertebrous endoscopic system is a minimally invasive solution for this standardized procedure in spine surgery with key advantages in visualization, handling, and patient care.